Hello, my name is Michael Shinamblo. For more than 30 years, I've been an endodontist and performed thousands of endodontic procedures. In addition, I've taught thousands of students and clinicians around the globe. I've also had the great pleasure to see how some of the instruments I had a hand in designing have radically changed endodontic therapy for a great number of clinicians. The ProTaper Next files are making a difference in people's hands every day. Let me give you a quick glimpse into how they work. As with most endodontic instrument sequences, the use of ProTaper Next is preceded by the establishment of the working length and a glide path. This highly edited video already shows a case which has been negotiated with a number 10 hand file. The working length has also been established. A good glide path is necessary with the ProTaper Next sequence just like any other system you've used in the past. Most canals can be prepared with just two of the ProTaper Next instruments. The first instrument in the sequence is always the X1. The instrument is used in essentially a push-pull fashion over a short amplitude of 1 to 2 millimeters. It should be noted that the use of ProTaper Next does not require brushing, but we show some here because I know a lot of you find this useful in removing restrictive dentin in the coronal one-third of the preparation. As can be seen, significant amounts of dentinal debris are generated and carried coronally with these instruments. Following the use of the X1, the canals are recapitulated with the number 10 K file and irrigated with copious amounts of sodium hypochlorite. The next instrument in the ProTaper Next sequence is the X2. It is also used in a push-pull fashion over short amplitudes of 1 to 2 millimeters. It may also be noted that the use of these files produces a churning effect or turbulence. This facilitates the removal of dentin debris and the cleaning of the canals. Following the use of the X2, recapitulation with a number 10 K file and irrigation with sodium hypochlorite is again indicated. In the case of the mesial roots of most lower molars and the buccal roots of most upper molars, only the X1 and X2 instruments are required. Larger canals, including the distal canal of this tooth, may also require the use of a third instrument. Here we introduce the X3. This is, again, followed by recapitulation with a 10K file and irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. The canals are now ready to fill. As you can see, a minimum number of instruments and a minimum amount of time is required to prepare these canals. And the added bonus is that these instruments do the job with a minimum amount of binding and even less of an opportunity for instrument failure. Put the ProTaper Next instruments to the test in your practice. I think you will find that they provide the simple and safe treatment protocol that you've been looking for.